Hi guys, my name is Bart Kamski and in this video I'm going to show you three programs that you have to have if you want to make a video games. And they are not game engines, they are not programs like Blender or Photoshop, they are programs that help you connect with people who you make games with or who you make games for. So, most of you probably know uh, most of them, but I'm going to show you anyway. First program is Discord. So Discord, as you probably know, is a communicator that works similar to Slack, but Discord is better because it's free and I love free stuff. Hashtag communist heritage. And Discord is um, really cool because you can uh, create your own channel like I did mine. You can join another channels like game channels, studio channels. I am obviously part of the Unreal Slackers uh, community, which is huge and you always find help here. And you have look how many people that are all online right now. And and also Discord has um, options like Skype so you can uh, call people with camera with microphone and you can share a screen there and there are three important things that you have to have if you want to uh, maybe not even make games with other people from distant places but when you want to show them your problems so uh, many times I had a problem and I talk and I write uh, to my friend and he told me hop on the discord show me your problem so I hop on the discord um, and I join with with uh, with someone with and start a voice call uh, with a camera camera is not necessary uh, but I necessary is um, sharing a screen so you have to have a discord you can either have it in your browser but I'm using Firefox and uh, voice and camera doesn't work with Firefox so you can have it as a standalone application like a, like I have it here and here everything a video and and uh, voice call works so you have to have discord and you have to have working microphone and you have to have this discord install on your program on your computer that you are making games with uh, because if you have a problem you want to share something you need to show your work on your computer to someone so you need to use discord that is install on your uh, on your computer. So I talk with many people and they have a Discord installed on computer but they didn't have a mic so I connect with them on Skype from the mobile phone and Discord with a, uh, with a camera and sharing a screen and it took like 15 minutes to hook it up. No, you have to have Discord installed, you have to have microphone that is working and connected to Discord and you have to have Discord installed on your uh, computer that you are making uh, games on. Okay, second program. Second program is also very important. Probably most of you know this or use uh, another program like this, but this program is Lightshot. This program basically allows you to print screen your screen. You see now screen freezes and you can uh, select something. I'm not sure if you are seeing it. No, you are not seeing it. You are not seeing it because uh, this program probably frees. Let me check if you see it and I'll get back to you. Yes, you are seeing it. So you press print screen, you can select something and then you have options like you can point to Shadow Tactics icon on your, um, on your desktop and show this is my problem. It's not a problem. It's a great game, but this is this is the thing I want to show you. And you make a control C, so you copy it and you go to your Discord because you already have a Discord and you post this to your friend. And you even can, um, this program, you can even use text and you can write something and then uh, copy it and, 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 uh, and send it to to anyone so this is this is really necessary because it helps you um, with quicker communications and most of video game developers working behind the computer and working and are connecting with other people if you are working with a studio and you have your co-workers around you that's great but you still need to send them print screens of your screen even if they sit right next to you so this uh, program is uh, really cool. Here is a 
here is a link to it. I will obviously uh, link this program um, in the um, description. And another thing, another third program, maybe it's not necessary, but it is very helpful. And this is screen to give program. This is simple program that is also free, like all of the previous programs. Uh, again, hashtag communist heritage. Um, this program uh, helps you, lets you make a GIF out of your, um, out of your, uh, whatever you have on the screen. So I already have this GIF from game I'm working on and I send it to my friend and I record it with this program and I'm, I'm show you how to do it. You have to just open it and this cool program has this uh, little thing right here and I'm uh, pressing record and it has nice frame that uh, lets you choose what part of the screen you want to record and then Oh, even better. We have it bigger. And then you select this and you record. OK, stop. And then automatically it will open. And you can edit your GIF. You can play it. And you can edit it. You can cut it so it loops seamlessly. You can... Um, here is addition. Uh, you can uh, trim it, you can edit it, uh, remove the frames from beginning, you can make a whole movie out of it. And then at the end you can uh, just save it. Sorry, I have Polish version of it, but you obviously know the a disk icon. And you can choose different types, you can experiment with that. What is great for you, you can export it and you can post it again on Discord channels, on Twitter, on uh, on Reddit, whenever you want to promote anything you do, this is uh, this is also very helpful. So these three programs, like I said, Discord, Lightshot, and Screen to Give, are very helpful if you are making video games. All of these, it's, um, it's uh, the links are in the description. And uh, thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make uh, uh, Unreal Engine tutorials and I make a devlog of my game I'm developing. And also join me on Discord. Um, you can ask me any questions. I'll be happy to help you. And thanks for watching again. And see you guys next time.